So hi, I'm Dr. Glenn Davies. And I'm Emma Malpass. All right, so what are we talking about today, Emma? Can we talk about uric acid levels? We're going to talk about uric acid. Okay, but why, why are we going to talk about uric acid? So this is really to do with gout, isn't it? Okay, so what is gout? Okay, so gout is a form of arthritis and it's when uric acid gets deposited in a joint. The commonest joint is this one. <laughs> is this one that right there, that base of the big toe. But you can get um, gout in other places, so knees, hips, even your Achilles tendon. And it's an acute, sudden arthritis that is just incredibly painful, perhaps. Okay. Maybe one of the worst pains that people have ever experienced it. There's no doubt yeah, about it being that. gout. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And if your uric acid level on your blood test is above 0.36 millimoles per litre, you're more likely to get gout. If it's below 0.36, you're less likely to get gout. In fact, if you've got a raised uric acid, you're 30 times more likely to get gout than if you do not wow. have a raised uric acid. So when you have a uric acid blood test done? Yes. You're wanting it to be below 0.36. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I've got that. Yeah. So now we're going to talk about where does that uric acid come from? And it's perhaps a little bit more complicated than um, most people think. So yes. we'll start over here. Number one, consumption of foods which contain purines. So purines come that from DNA. So DNA is made up of amino acids and one of those, or oh, two of them are purines. Yes. So any food which is high in DNA will be high in purines. So the ones that we think of most are shellfish, red meat and organ meat such as um, liver, for example. Okay, yeah. Okay, and this over here is an odds ratio. And if you eat shellfish, for example, you're 31 more likely to raise your uric acid and if you eat red meat you're 29 percent more likely to raise your uric acid so that's purines so it's not a huge it's not a huge amount no i i think it's less than we've mm. um, been teaching people okay okay it's so over here. consumption over this side. production number two so you can consume purines or you can make uric acid within the liver yeah and you can make it from fructose. So remember, fructose, glucose and fructose, ah, yes. together is sugar. So this is your soft drinks. Okay. okay. This is your cakes and your biscuits. And so your we're talking baking. sugar. This sugar. is sugar. Yeah. Okay. And look at the odds ratio here. Yeah, 2.58 compared, yeah, so like five times the difference. I think we've been focusing over here shellfish and red meat, we need to bring more of our attention over here. That's about five to one. Well, what about this one here? Alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah, odds ratio <coughs> 2.14. So you're, not, not your Emma, but a person's yeah. um, rum and coke, that's yeah. a recipe for raising your uric acid and getting gout. So is that because of the sugar and alcohol? Now, alcohol itself oh, gets, right. both fructose and alcohol get converted through the same okay. pathway in the liver to uric acid. Okay. okay. Both of these things contribute to our pool of uric acid in the blood. Okay. And number three, excretion. So it's going in the top and it's coming out the bottom. So this is um, representing the urine. So the kidneys get rid of uric acid. Yeah, that makes sense. But you can reduce the elimination of the uric acid with alcohol by becoming dehydrated and certain medications. So okay. thiazide diuretics and low dose aspirin, interestingly. So that will interfere with the excretion. So think of all of this as a balance yeah. and when all of those are in a good balance. What's, you're going what's this to, over here? What's this over here? All right. So these are other factors that set where your set point will be. So whether it's there or whether it's there. 
And some people genetically are predisposed to have a high uric acid, and other people are lucky and they're genetically yeah. predisposed to have a low one. Yeah? Okay. But it's not an all or nothing because you can alter that. Um, so inflammation is a factor. So yeah. chronic inflammation, but acute inflammation. So it's interesting that most attacks of gout happen after a minor injury. Wow. So you might um, kick a football, for example, you know, no injury or pain, but yeah. that just we'll small it. amount of inflammation mm -hmm. is enough to change the acidity within the joint, which starts to precipitate the uric acid crystals. So acute inflammation, chronic inflammation, that's just generally being unwell. But this one here. Yeah, I was looking at this one here. I think this is emerging as the big, big talking point in uric acid. Insulin resistance, um, meaning that you have high levels of insulin, so that's diabetes, yeah. um, you know, and it's abdominal obesity, so it's where we suck our tummies in, so we, <laughs> abdominal obesity, yes. and that's insulin resistance. Interestingly, the things which cause that, again, sugar, and some of these modern seed oils, you know, such as canola oil or, or margarine, those things there contribute to insulin resistance and that affects the set point. So how are we going to lower our uric acid? So let's say you get a blood test and your uric acid is high. What yeah. are you going to do? You can reduce your consumption yeah. of shellfish, red meat and organ meats. Yeah. But the big ticket items over here, cut out the sugar. Yeah. Cut out the sugar and cut out the alcohol. Yeah. And stay away from your rum and cokes, Emma. <laughs> and then excretion again avoid alcohol make sure you stay well hydrated and if you're on some medications which are reducing the excretion you might be able to change to something else and over here um, we can't do anything about our genetics um, you can't choose your parents um, yeah. but we can make sure that we're reducing inflammation and managing our insulin resistance by staying away from sugar and making sure we you know, don't use canola oil and margarine. So that's that, really good. That is uric acid. Thank you very much.